video we will discuss about the theory of firm under perfect competition and we will discuss what is the perfect competition and revenue profit what is profit maximization firm supply curve market supply curve price elasticity of supply now what are the features of a perfect competition firstly the market consists of a large number of buyers and sellers here sellers are firms secondly each firm produces and sells homogeneous products that is similar products the third feature is the free entry and exit to the market that is any firm can enter or exit from the market according to its likes and dislikes or whether it's making profit or loss fourthly the most important point each buyer and seller in the market is a price taker now what do you mean by a price taking firm or a seller? Price taking firm or seller means if it sets the price of its goods above the prevailing market price then it will be unable to sell. If it sets the price below the prevailing market price then it will not be able to get maximum profit. Therefore it sets the price of its goods at prevailing market price. Now let's see what's price taking buyer. It means if she or he that is the buyer asks for a price below the market price of the good that she wants to buy then no firm will be willing to sell to her or him now what's revenue a firm earns revenue by selling its products in the market the total revenue a firm generates by selling its products is equals to price of the product cross into quantity of the products sold now what is average revenue average revenue is total revenue per unit of output produced for a price taking firm for a price taking firm average revenue equals market price what is marginal revenue marginal revenue is change in total revenue per unit change in quantity now what is total revenue curve total revenue curve is relationship between total revenue and output level of the firm for a perfect competition market marginal revenue equals average revenue equals market price that is market price average revenue and marginal revenue are all the same and equal now what is a supply curve a supply curve shows the level of output that a firm chooses to produce at different market prices. The output level depends on whether we consider short run or the long run. And accordingly we can distinguish between the short run supply curve and long run supply curve. Now let's have a look at supply schedule. It is a table describing the quantities sold by a firm at various prices. considering the technology and the input factor prices that is the price we have to incur for the various inputs used by the firm that remains and constant now what is an average variable cost or AVC it is the input variable cost upon quantity of output produced by the firm the long run average cost LRAC it shows minimum or lowest average total cost at which firm can produce any given level of output in the long run suppose the firm produces two commodities commodity A and commodity B input price or price for raw materials to produce commodity A is 5 rupees and commodity B is 8 rupees therefore marginal average total cost for producing both these will be 5 plus 8 divided by 2 because we are producing only two community two commodities and it will be equals to 6.5 now what is a normal profit it is the minimum level of profit that is required to keep a firm in existing business a firm requires or uses different kinds of inputs in the production process to acquire some of them the firm has to pay directly for example if a firm employs labor it has to pay wages to them if it uses some raw materials it has to buy them 
Therefore, may be some other kinds of inputs which the firm owns and therefore does not need to pay to anybody for them. These inputs, though, do not involve any explicit cost. They involve some opportunity cost to the firm. The firm, instead of using these inputs in the current production process, could have used them for some other purpose and get some return. This foregone return is the opportunity cost to the firm. The firm normally expects to earn a profit that along with the explicit cost for the inputs like labor or raw materials can also cover the opportunity cost. The profit level that is just enough to cover the explicit cost and opportunity cost of the firm is called the normal profit. For example, if a firm uses raw materials or buys raw materials for rupees 100 and if the opportunity cost for its factory building or land is rupees 10 then its total cost will be 110 now if firm sells the output material and earns the revenue of 110 that is 110 then this 110 revenue will be equal to the input costs and opportunity cost thus this 110 will be its normal profit now if the firm earns over this 110 rupees for example it earns rupees 120 then this is called then this extra 10 rupees which the firm earns is called the super normal profit super normal profit now what are the determinants of a firm's supply curve the first one is the technological progress suppose if we are using the machine present today the amount of raw materials that we are using with that machine can produce suppose five cars and in and in the future, suppose another machine is developed, which by using the same raw materials or same amount of raw materials can produce 10 cars. Then it is a technological progress that also influences or shifts the firm supply. Now number two is input prices. Suppose presently the price of raw materials is 100 rupees and we are using 20 units of raw materials suppose if in the future the price is lower to 50 rupees then we can buy 40 units of raw materials for the same amount that we are spending today thus input prices also influence the firm's supply curve now what is a unit tax on supply it is a tax imposed by government on per unit sale of output suppose we have produced 100 bikes and we sold 50 bikes sold 60 bikes suppose we sold 60 bikes then we have to give tax on all the 60 bikes individually that is called the unit tax on supply but the rest 40 bikes which are not sold we do not have to pay any tax on them that is called the unit tax on supply tax imposed when the sale takes place now what is a market supply curve market supply curve shows the output levels that firm in the market produce in aggregate that is total of all the firms collectively produce in the market corresponding to different values of the market price now what is price elasticity of supply the price elasticity of supply measures the responsiveness of quantity supplied to change in price of goods it is written as E as percentage change in quantity of supply to percentage.